That was that was way better that time. One of these times I'm going to do it right the first time and we won't have to do it twice, but this wasn't that time. Uh, welcome to the show. This is the unnamed podcast. This is the radical, I don't know, the radical, uh, I don't know, the radical portal, I guess. The, I don't, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll, we'll figure, maybe maybe me and the next guest can figure out uh, uh, what, what the name is. I don't know. Uh, we got Kendall on the Regamers. Shout out to Kendall. I'm going to put him on the big screen here. So uh, for those of you that are just listening to the podcast, you can just watch or you can you can just listen um but uh if you want if you're watching on youtube you can uh also let your mind wander and watch my buddy get frustrated watching playing the game so here we go and also check out uh check out regamers uh and on twitch it's the underscore regamers so uh shout out to kendall and uh i guess we'll just bring bring our my my, my guest on uh i've got fr- from radical trivia as well uh at april and uh so so there so here she is that was i love that intro that, that <laughs> entrance welcome to the show thanks, thanks yeah for having me uh, I, don't, I don't know what we're doing but i'm excited i don't know what we're doing either that's totally fine um yeah we're, we're just gonna you know keep uh <laughs> apparently kendall can hear us okay so Sweet. yeah so everybody can you guys can thumbs up just real fast can you hear both of us pretty pretty well you good? everything's cool okay cool, cool. excellent very good so um, yes. Uh, how, how was, how was your day? Did you do anything interesting today? Uh, yeah, I, uh, started filling out paperwork for, uh, a new job Okay. and, uh, signing a new apartment lease. Okay. And that's, that's it. Nice. Nice. I mean, I did like work work too, but like, well, fuck not, that place. No, it's nobody, not going to be long. <laughs> yeah. Why well, said, did you do anything interesting today? No, interesting. No, not really. No, no, no. The, the, the filling out new things or that's interesting new life yeah yeah it's yeah. witness protection so i can't tell anybody about it well that's what the glasses are for yeah exactly yeah 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 <laughs> yeah so uh yeah i'm I was, I was thinking about what we should talk about for, i guess we should we i would like to figure out a, a name for the show so oh, i don't for know this, if that's for uh, this. oh, well, oh look you. at that oh, the service here is excellent it wow is, it's the best yeah look at that just beers just appear i don't even know where that yeah that's, magic beers yeah <laughs> so do you have a <laughs> If anybody, if anybody is like me and they're listening and they have headphones on, they can. Anytime someone gets real close to them and does those, these things, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> what people uh, like that? It's that's, ASMR. That's a true. Yeah, that's, that's true. There's a whole, there's a whole, there's a group of people like that. Yeah, I'm not in that group. That it, it makes my the, not that kind of noise. I there's different noises that I could listen to, but that no. Mm-mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, that like that makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up <laughs> on end. Good to know. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> People are gonna hear this. God damn it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the name of the podcast. What do you what do you what do you think? Oh, I don't know. So okay, so I'll maybe I can like uh, give you an idea. Yeah. What, what, do, you, what do you got? What you got so what the idea hopefully is gonna be? It's gonna be like something like uh, talking about stuff like maybe that would be important for all of us to talk about. You know, like like you know, just pushing good ideas out in the ether. Okay. You know, um, mm-hmm. or just like different people's opinions and all from all, all places i i was talking to some youtubers like for i talked to somebody from russia so i'm gonna hopefully have like some people from other countries nice. on yeah um so i don't know what uh if that gives you any any ideas any about, seeds of ideas well you could do like radical thoughts mm, okay because then you get the rt in there it still works right right yeah right uh I, like that. I don't know somebody's waving furiously wa- over wa- 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 waving over here oh <laughs> Yeah. Oh, is that? Uh, I'm not sure. Are they waving at us? I don't know. Boner camp. Boner oh, camp. okay. That's that's the boner camp. That's a suggestion. Oh, okay. Boner camp. So that could be the <laughs> that could be the subtitle or like the parentheses. Boner sure. camp. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I don't. I don't hate that. Yeah. So it'll be radical thoughts. Parentheses. Or I'm, I'm sorry. Um, colon. Boner, boner, camp. boner camp. Boner camp. Boner camp. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. That's not about. Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll keep we'll, we'll mark it down. Put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. Put a yeah. pin in that. Yeah. It could just be boner camp. <laughs> it could just be boner camp. I don't want people to get the wrong idea. <laughs> well, then you'll get more viewers at first, at least, right? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. If we do a good job, theoretically, it doesn't really matter what it's called. And people will be like, did you listen to boner camp? Did you listen to boner camp this week? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So maybe we should just call it boner camp and just and then we would have to do a good job. Yeah. We'd have no You'd choice. Forced. Right. Exactly. Or else. Yeah. No one will watch. No one will no one ever. Watch ever it. Yeah. No one will watch that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Live up to the name. I just talked myself into boner camp, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, 
So uh, that, that's yeah. We'll, we'll put go. we'll definitely put a pin yeah. in Boner Camera. I'll, I'll write it down later. Well, I'll watch Sounds this good. back later. We'll, I won't forget. Yeah. Um. So yeah. In on that on that tip, it, like, is there anything that it's you think it's important for like people to talk about just in general, like like right now? Hmm. I know it's a deep question. Yeah, that is a deep question. Yeah. We just can like a boner camp would be. Mm, indeed. <laughs> um. So let's see. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. There's a lot, quite a lot going on. I think uh, easily uh, foreign affairs, if you will, you oh, can yeah. have that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it is Pride Month. Oh Thank yeah. You. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I uh, I happened to go to Cleveland this this uh, weekend, and I luckily Brad brought my black and white. Uh, it's just um, David's face, and it's it's ooh on the top. Oh. corner I, I i didn't even know it was pride and i, I was you were just we're, you were repping yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry please oh no that's fine oh, <laughs> i mean pride yeah you could you yeah. could talk about that especially this month yeah i mean i'm sure each month you know has their own little mm. snippet yeah what yeah what's how do you like okay i have mixed feelings about people getting months you know because it's like mm-hmm. it's cool to be aware of things obviously but like it should just be all the time where we're trying to be aware right, of most, obviously. you know like yeah yeah, it, yeah and it's because it, it's like well here's the thing like we're aware that there's gay people right right you know right we're aware that the, that there's you know repression and all that so yeah the the what do they call it now so you know how there's the the pink tax for like women's products oh yeah. where like a woman's product is is marketed to them so it costs a little bit more oh yeah sure yeah um so there's with pride month there comes like rainbow not tax but it's that that front right where it's it's right. that um all the companies are turning their logos to rainbows where you know that the rest of the year they're donating to anti oh yeah you know lgbtq causes so shopping at chick-fil-a right exactly which yeah. although i've seen quite a few hilarious memes from the chick-fil-a <laughs> <laughs> stuff <laughs> where it's like other other companies where it's like oh we we support you and then it's like chick-fil-a like fuck you die <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that- that's a tough one because I mean, yeah. I, I, there have been lots of comedians have gone over like oh, yeah. the conundrum. We all know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. That's the sort of like a, uh, at what point is this just like playing it's into just marketing the now. bullshit? Yeah. Now it's just marketing. It's not, yeah. you know, uh, and then there's, then there's the disc, the internal discourse. I mean, there's always, uh, problems within each community. And so I feel like whenever there's a whole month, then that just gets, compounded and then that brings up all that turmoil inside of the own, their own community like i have seen plenty of posts and plenty of like back and forths about who belongs at pride right and right. it's like come on <laughs> like, <laughs> really we we don't have enough oppression from like outside of it now we got to do it inside guys come on what the fuck so yeah no i i am i'm also torn with the whole month process yeah uh, of things yeah yeah gatekeeping is annoying as fuck yeah yeah Yeah. if you if you're thinking about gatekeeping don't when you wake up in the morning and you're like you know what i'm gonna be one of those people think about otherwise just just don't do it (laughs) if only that it was as easy as telling people that yeah it's gonna happen we just fixed a whole bunch of problems right now right right yeah the what is it? Boner camp boner camp fixing problems you heard it here first on (laughs) fixing fixing problems on boner camp (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's what it's called it's called fixing problems fixing problems on boner, on boner. In, in boner in boner camp, camp? Oh. at, at boner, boner camp. camp at boner, boner camp. camp yeah shout out to alexa over here for the for that one <laughs> fixing problems the at boner camp. is very helpful <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's that was good okay yeah yeah there we go <laughs> um so like i'm i don't want to make the podcast super super long um but like, uh, I, I'm not sure how long we've been going for. I guess I could actually check here on the on the <laughs> Zoom call. And I want to keep it like, you know, honest. So like without too many edits and, or anything like that. So like people can tell like we're actually just here talking. We're and just chatting. Yeah, not just like, yeah, we're not bullshitting you. Whatever you see, it's, it's on the air. I'm, I'm, this is real. In fact, maybe that'll be another aspect of it. I'm just not going to edit any of this. Yeah. yeah. Like from, from front to back, when I press the play button on the Zoom call to record this, that's it. 
whatever whatever goes goes do it so we could just we could just sit here and just stare into the camera for a little <laughs> while just... it's gonna be on there I'm making anything. let's take a look at the big board over here oh yeah what's <laughs> what's uh oh so kendall, kendall is currently playing uh sonic mania i believe uh like i said shout out to kendall for uh he's on regamers he's also a radical trivia uh host and he's doing live shows out in the ether so get on the facebook and check out everybody there there he is get on the facebook and um check out where he's going to be uh i think i'm pretty sure we just uh, updated the schedule on there and so it should be all set to go nice but yeah we're doing live shows again um i'm gonna i'm starting up uh well i'm not sure i'm gonna release this so just check out the live shows (laughs) I was going to start to try to figure, remember it. Now I'm not. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, do it, we need to timestamp this? It is June. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't, June. people don't care. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when you, when you like a podcast, you just like let the, you let the tape roll, you know, if, if, especially if the episodes are like 20 minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just sure. let it go. Hopefully without, if you pay for your service or whatever, it's without a whole bunch of commercials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I was trying, I had, I had other questions, um, but I can't remember. Is there any, oh, is there anything you would like to see or hear on this show that, uh, like any, any particular types of people you'd think I should talk to? Um, oh, I don't know. Um, oh, sorry. I haven't been putting my drink on a coaster. Oh, that's fine. Kind of heathen. And there you go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean... There's a lot of podcasts out there. Yep. So um, it's hard to be super unique. Sure. Well, yeah. But I mean, your personality is, is one in a million. Oh, stop it. <laughs> That's nice. And so, um, yeah, I think I think uh, you've got some good thoughts in your head. And I think that um, just kind of rolling with those is always a good. Mm. I, I don't, as much as I like listening to podcasts that have a very central theme, mm. I also like hearing it go off on tangents because that's real life sure. right so i feel like as long as you're genuine okay i think you could pretty much pull off any any uh okay. topics okay that's cool actually you know as uh so w- we were talking earlier before we started doing mm-hmm. before we started recording and i do have a question for you. what sort so, <laughs> so I, I guess this is more just throwing an idea out there okay. and i'm gonna let you just run with it um so my brother yesterday in fact and alex could back me up um he was what he showed me this dude who uh he was doing a podcast and it was like it just seemed like like him explain it was he was some kind of i'm not sure what may give him the authority what his credentials are right but he was just explaining to women why they were fucking up in relationships oh and i didn't understand um i didn't understand so like like i don't know who this person was so it was a dude it was just one dude and why they're not in relationships yeah it was it was like a black dude in a nice shirt like a, like a really nice he, he reminded me of like how i don't know the fact that he was dressed so nice reminded me of steve harvey because steve harvey also wears nice suits and also thinks it's the 1950s <laughs> so that's why i, I wasn't he, he didn't look like yeah, steve harvey he, didn't look like steve he harvey. just, he just evoked said, that uh, image in my so yeah what i don't know what are your thoughts on on things like this on on things like men telling women what they're doing wrong sure uh i mean <laughs> woof <laughs> like, <laughs> you want to keep this short or do you want to make this a long podcast <laughs> no just just let it rip you know this is that's what we're here for so uh, it's just i feel like i mean every woman every woman has or any any person that that presents feminine has had this happen to them they've had some dude tell them and that's why there's a whole word for it, mansplaining. Like there's an entire word. We've made we've created one because this is not a rarity. Mm. And it's I just hear women out, let them speak, actually listen. And I think that's the other problem is that a lot of the time in conversations, men might hear that a woman is talking, but they're not listening to what she actually is saying. And so that's why they think that they just because they have this idea that they already know or they know better already so like why bother listening right so just shut the fuck up for a while <laughs> wait are we allowed to well yeah of course okay i was like i don't know you're putting this on the internet I don't know where you're but like just just like shut the fuck up for a bit and and just know that 
you probably don't know it all, <laughs> you know? Um, it is a very hard, is a learning experience for sure. I mean, I'm, I've experienced men doing that and I know that they're genuinely good people and I've, you know, interacted with them elsewhere, but they just forget, I think that, that this is a thing and that they need to be aware and self-awareness is hard. I understand that. So it, I think it's just that if you want to be a better dude, <laughs> just kind of self-reflect take a moment to just stop talking for a second when a woman is talking don't interrupt her let her go listen to what she's saying be active an active listener which means that you are actually listening to what the words that are coming out of her mouth are <laughs> and um yeah i don't want to listen to any podcast that have that kind of that kind <laughs> of uh content at all i don't want to be i don't want to be involved in that like it's it First off, I am I am very well aware that my face will give it away. So that's <laughs> nice. That's very helpful. Uh, if I'm talking to somebody I that's doing that, it will read on my face. So if you if you have any inclination of of um, social skill, <laughs> like that you can see somebody being visibly not happy with what you're saying. <laughs> Most women will also do that blank. And that's what the like resting bitch face kind of is, is we're just like, we're done. We're just going to clock out for a little bit. Let you go on your tirade and then be like, cool. I, I was right though. <laughs> you know? So yeah, no, I don't, I don't personally think that that men, especially with relationships, to be honest, um, both sides fuck up. It doesn't, gender doesn't matter in that case either. A lot of the time. Sure. Um, and when a, when a dude is sitting there trying to be like, let me tell you women what you're doing wrong. It's just that they're telling, they're projecting what they want you to do, which is usually be subservient, be like, you know, be attractive, work out, put makeup on every day. Don't let him see you without makeup, wake up like an hour before he does, you know, like that kind of 1950s feeling. And we're not doing that shit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like... We're not doing that shit anymore. Yeah, it's 2021. I, I suppose if you if like fucking program. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And unless some, some, someone's like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to do that, and it's like, okay, if you want to do right. that, that's fine. Right. If but, she yeah. wants to do that, cool. sure, sure, yeah, yeah. But also, yeah. no one's to be expected. It's 2021. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You know? Yeah, yeah. That it seems like a lot of work. It is a lot of work. You know, so something that like really it made it super real for me, like like. Like if you want to call it like the like the the struggle, I don't know if this is that. So tell me if okay. this is if this okay. your thoughts about this. I thought like uh, because I play like in a band, like so I I often wear like go to the women's section in any store because the fucking clothes are way more rad mm -hmm. and way cooler for being on stage and stuff. Um, and so, but, uh, but I noticed that there are absolutely z there are no. Everyone listen to this, especially dudes for sure. You know how your clothing has pockets in it? That's not a thing for women at all. And that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, that's, why it, do you it, think whatever there is when somebody's like, oh, your dress is nice. You're like, thanks, it has pockets. Because it's like a rarity. You're like, oh my God, look at these pockets. Like, like so because and, and because like yeah exactly like like and but that's just like a like if you're like raised in a in a society where like it's just not an option like like you just have to do something else because i put everything in my pockets all the time mm -hmm. and like it's just so, that's so crazy to me yeah. and like uh, so that's just and that's the it just speaks to like that the, that's the attitude like go fucking check the store that's just how it is yeah, like they're, uh... that's crazy excuse me sorry beer <laughs> Um, yeah, there's, there's, they're, they're coming back. <laughs> Pockets are coming back for women, <laughs> sort of. Uh, <laughs> it, they're putting them in dresses, which is nice, but like, we would also like our pants to have regular size pet pockets. Like, yeah, dresses are nice. And I, I certainly like wearing dresses, you know, sundresses, it's hot out. It's also one piece of clothing. You don't have to match anything to it. Yeah. But like, I also wear pants and I would like those pants to also have functioning pockets. And half the time the back pocket may, might hold like a small wallet, mm. maybe my phone, but phones are getting bigger now. Right. And if you have anything attached, like if you have it a case on it it's just uncomfortable or you the moment you go to sit down it pops out yeah and the front pockets don't exist they're like fa they're fake 
Yeah. They're always fake. Like. No. So also another a hot tip is to just know your waist size and go into the men's section. Oh. <laughs> and mm. Find their pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Start taking the men's pants. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's a great idea. Reclaim pants. Yeah. Take them back. Take the po take, I, take the pockets take, back. Take, <laughs> that's a good song. <laughs> we could we could we could we could make a remake. <laughs> Just start cutting the pockets out of men's pants. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Deal without pockets for a while. <laughs> well, I, I think I think that's pretty good. We can. Uh, oh, I, I, we got an extra. Oh, well, Sally is coming in here. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, I was I was about to. Waiting. Yeah, I don't know. I, we kind of got into it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I was gonna. I was gonna wrap it up. I feel like we, we went pretty. We got some. We got some pants talking. We pants maybe talking. figured out. It's uh, boner camp things. Boner camp. Yeah. So I think that was, yeah, that was pretty good. We can, uh, we can you could, stop you could her there. You could make some boner camp pants with pockets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Boner camp. Oh, no. <laughs> pants with pockets. Yeah. <laughs> <I> want to. <laughs> now, yeah, now, now we really got to think. Obviously khaki, right? Yeah. If they're camp right. pants. If, if it's a camp pants. If it's camp pants, it's got to be. Got to be a khaki. khaki. Probably. And, and cargo pockets. Let's cargo go pockets. cargo pockets. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know what? We don't want just four pockets. Give us like six pockets. How about also the zip off legs? <laughs> and the zip off legs. There's yeah. a cargo pocket on those too. And the, yep. And you, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. This is a winning idea. So the, these, pan, these pants have 13 pockets on them <laughs> and the bottom zip off. Maybe they have one or two zip off parts. Yeah. Yeah. You could, you could make them either pants or capris or shorts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, <laughs> and each of those pockets. sections have at least three pockets. Right, right. Different size pockets different on different size sections. Pockets, yeah. yeah. Oh, you could even change. Maybe the sections are interchangeable depending on which pocket you want and which level of the pant. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So then it's just like straight leg. Yeah. Same size the whole way down. <laughs> I feel like the only problem with this, though, is like <laughs> with all these zippers, <laughs> it's going to sound like you have keys on you no matter <laughs> if you do or not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get those little, uh, like the dog, how the dog tags have the little rubberized thing around them. Mm. Maybe see if we can oh, yeah. figure out that kind of good call. jingly yeah. muffler. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. We, we're going to stop there. We're going to before we get too into the weeds. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thanks to Regamers. Um, and thanks to April for being here. And uh, yeah, thanks for everybody for hanging out and for your time and your cheers. attention. Yeah, cheers. And uh, we'll camp. go back into the theme song and uh yeah we're we out uh row and remember if uh if someone asks you if you are a god you say yeah good evening or day or whatever